shops. I'm glad to have you here. So let's get to it, shall we? Sweaty Cup, welcome to another uh, episode of uh, Oogie's Tech Talks. Today, we're going to be calibrating the Mini 1300 Vector Network Analyzer. We're going to calibrate it this time using the factory kit that we built in a previous video. So, um, happy to have you with us, and let's get to it. And here we go. All right, finished with that one. Let's knock out this last one as quick as we can. There we go. All right. Now, to knock out the 300 ohm open. All right, and that takes care of that portion of it. So now we can hit save and exit now, before we leave this calibration screen, there is one other calibration we want to do, and that's called the S21 calibration, otherwise known as the gain calibration, where we transmit from here and measure here. And for that, we're going to be using just any piece of coaxial cable that you happen to use. It's useful if you've got a long run to be able to calibrate at the end of your cable rather than at the VNA itself. But for now, we're just getting this thing calibrated for first use. So get that screwed on. And then we screw it on here. Typically, you really don't want to wrench these SMA connections too tight. Eight inch pounds is about right with either a 5 16 or an eight millimeter wrench. There we go. Oh, I can wake up again. There we go. Now we can exit out of that and go back to the main menu and then go from there back to the main menu. That's how you calibrate the silly thing. And next time, we'll show you this in operation and some of the uses of it. In the meantime, thanks for being with us today. All right, so we've calibrated the thing for the first time, however, there are other things that you can do with this as far as calibration and configuration. If you didn't want to use the factory preset, um, then you can go to parameters in the configuration editor and you can change the impedance. But if you keep going and scroll through, you'll find out OSL resistive load, 50 ohms. If you're calibrating it for 75, you change that to 75. You can change the short down to zero, if that's what you want. So let's go ahead and adjust that guy down to zero. Zero ohms, five ohms. Next parameter is the open. If you have an actual open, you can change this to open or back down to 300. So we're gonna cancel and exit out of that. That's one of the other things you can do and that's in the configuration menu. 
All right. Thank you much. Hope you'll have a great day.